Good evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Rescue and recovery operations underway across Florida after Hurricane Milton made landfall as a Category 3 storm. Powerful winds, life-threatening storm surge. At least 10 people have died, and that number is expected to rise. ABC's Jacqueline Lee, who surveyed the aftermath, is in St. Petersburg with more. A rescue and the recovery effort after Hurricane Milton tore through much of Florida. Crews in water up to their waists and using boats to find people who need help. But I'm just glad we're out and to safety right. and to where we can charge up our phones because I don't have any power because of my family is probably wondering where I'm at. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office sharing this video as two deputies helped a teen boy wading through flood water. Sorry. The Category 3 hurricane made landfall Wednesday night with life-threatening storm surge, powerful winds, and rain. More than 3 million people without power. In St. Pete, a massive crane collapsing onto a building. Part of the roof of Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays, ripped off. From above, you can see debris littering the field. Christy Austin lives right next door. It sounded like waves hitting our windows. I got rain up to practically my knees in my apartment. Just sounded like the ocean was hitting the windows and the water was just pouring through. These images from Bradenton Beach, just north of Siesta Key, showing a home off its foundation. This area also hit hard by Helene. From the air, you can see the damage. Neighborhoods surrounded by flooding. Some homes obliterated. The roof caved in at this grocery store in Palm Beach County. There were also tornadoes before the hurricane even made landfall. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says Milton spared Florida the worst case scenario. That means there's not going to be a lot of damage doesn't mean there's not going to be a lot we're going to have to contend with but uh, just in terms of what we were prepped for uh, I think that we probably have an abundance of resources Vice President Harris and I have been in constant contact with the state and local officials we're offering everything they need. Meteorologists say Milton is the third hurricane to make landfall in Florida this year, tying the record for the most in a single season. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, St. Petersburg. And while we follow developments of Hurricane Milton, many people up the East Coast are recovering from the impact of Hurricane Helene. If you'd like to donate or learn more about helping the victims from either storm, scan the QR code on your screen or head to localsbr.com.